So after a full week of work and research, I really look forward to the weekend when I can stream Elder Scrolls online. ESO is such an easy game to access and play. You don't need complex spreadsheets. It's a chilled out game and it caters for everyone from the casual player to the hardcore PvP or progression player. When I actually started to play Elder Scrolls Online, I am I have to admit that I didn't even understand the difference between stamina and magicka and the associated weapons. But the most important thing about this game is that it did not matter. It did not matter that you didn't understand everything about the game because the game is set up for you to enjoy it. You can be what race you want, which class you want, you can do what you want and the game allows you to play the game and progress in your own way. Like everyone, when I started to play Elder Scrolls Online, I made mistakes. But the important thing is, it doesn't matter. There are plenty of opportunities throughout the game for you to change if you wish, to change class, to change your spec, to change your attributes, your skill. And that allows for a very flexible approach. Try something. If you don't like those skills, then try something else. When I first started to play Elder Scrolls Online, I thought the only activity I could do was to level. And I really enjoyed that progression and the grind. And I would level up a character class and then make up an alt and level them up. And it was after a while that I started to think, okay then, what is there beyond leveling in this game? And that was when I suddenly realized how much I was missing out on, but also what there was to engage with. I found drawn to the fantastic crafting and gathering system and worked my way up from being a complete novice to having a character who was a master crafter who could create items for both my alts, but for others as well. By creating things, I found the guild vendor system and started to make money. And let's face it, everybody needs cash in an MMO. There were houses to buy and to decorate and achievements to gain from dungeons or delves to fishing achievements and fighting world bosses. There were maps to explore and dailies in all areas fighting world bosses doing dungeons both normal and veteran and even trials and even though I am not very good at it at all I adore the player versus player both within the battleground and in the open world with Cyrodiil and there is nothing better than going off battling against other players and getting that one kill that I cherish so much. Even after several years of playing Elder Scrolls Online, I still feel that I'm just scratching the surface. There are fantastic events that come up within the year and within these events you can gain special items, you can gain new mounts and it allows me to actually be involved in areas of the game that I might not have had a keen interest in before. For example, the Mayhem event actually got me into player versus player and I actually leveled a character during that adventure purely in the battleground. And the recent Elsewhere event, well, let's face it, who doesn't enjoy battling dragons? The Elder Scroll community is one of the 
best communities I have ever met. There is so much support both in the game and out of it. And every time I play the game, I learn something completely new. And that's the fantastic thing about Elder Scrolls Online. It's constantly evolving and changing, but you can play it how you want. It is your choice. So what are you waiting for? Choose the race that you like the look of. Choose the class that you feel that you will enjoy playing the most. Grab your weapon of choice and come and join us and Elder Scrolls Online. Let the adventure begin.